Hi there, going to talk about the QR photo app from NetLife today and how it can actually help your business, your school photography business, your kinder uh, photography business or sports photography business. So um, what we're going to go into is the actual um, app, but it's actually not an app, it's a URL. So which is your domain forward slash QR photo. So for current NetLife users, you simply go to your domain forward slash QR photo on your phone or tablet or whatever you're going to use. So we're going to dive in. First of all, uh, we can save um, this as a shortcut to your phone's desktop. And we see that there needs to be a username and a password. So each photographer will have their own username, which is their email and obviously their password. So let's bypass that for the second, go straight in to my username. Now, as we can see, it tells me the jobs that are there for me for the photographer. So at the moment, QR photo demo, that's uh, the job that we're doing today. So if I click on the information, it will give me information about that job that's been written by the admin, for example. So information, it might be the contact name of the person at that job, how, whatever and uh, that you want to convey to uh, your photographers. So, and also it will show all the photographers that are on that current job. Now let's go back into the list of available jobs and click on the actual job. And now it gives me the different groups associated with this. So uh, let's say I'm photographing class 1A, I'll click on 1A, and then I can basically ask who the subject's name is as they come through the station. And let's say it's Christina. Let's click on Christina. And what we do is simply photograph the QR code and then photograph Christina. So what this does, it actually does a data match between the subject data and the images that are taken of Christine. So another feature here, um, maybe Christina, uh, her name is actually isn't Christina. Maybe it is uh, actually just uh, Christine. So the photographer can, on the fly can actually just edit that as I just did. The other thing that uh, happens pretty much daily of each job is that you'll find subjects will go or be in uh, different groups. So in this case, Christina is in 1A. And so maybe she got swapped over at the start of the year to 2B. So the photographer will pretty much learn that on site and go, okay, well, she's not in 1A. You click on 2B, we're good to go. Update subject, okay, and now she's in 2B. So let's go to the next child subject that we're going to photograph. Um, let's say Sophia. Here's Sophia's QR code. Photograph the QR code, photograph Sophia. Again, uh, we can edit uh, Sophia's name uh, and so on. Uh, what we can also do is click on uh, the group, let's say 2B, and we can actually click on the group picture QR code. And so we can actually uh, photograph the group QR code and then photograph the group. You're doing a traditional photograph of the group, okay? You can select, uh, take multiple shots if you like. Um, some other features here, you can see on the bottom right hand side there is a, a plus button. So from time to time there will be subjects that aren't on your data sheet or list and so you need to add a subject in on the fly. So with this we can click on the plus and add a subject. Joe blogs. Oops, helps if I actually spell blogs correctly and again and create subject and then we have Joe Bloggs's QR code and now we can photograph the QR code and then photograph Joe Bloggs. The system will recognize if you make changes. So on the bottom right hand side you can see the finish button is red. So at the end of the day we want to update the portal with all of the changes that I've done as a photographer. So I click on finish and finish job and now it will update the portal and all of those changes will go to the portal. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, little uh, tour of the QR photo app. Remember, it's not, just, it's not actually an app, it's uh, a URL.